What up, everybody? It's story time. Now, this story here, I'm gonna do a real throwback. My first time getting revenge on my older cousins. Now, as a child, some of my aunties and uncles used to tell my mama now, that boy's an angel and that boy's a devil. I used to do some evil shit as a child. From pissing on my auntie when she would turn my diaper. From goddamn just tearing shit up for no apparent reason. Or just instigating a lot of damn shit. A lot of bullshit. But that's besides the point. I get this shit started. So, it's summertime. Now, this back in, but it's back in 2000. Take it back. 2000. I know the summer 2000. Now, it's some good summer days. Now, I'm a first party and shit. You got the kids, the big kids outside, and you got little kids inside. You can go outside with the big kids. But they weren't going for having us outside. I didn't want to sit inside with everybody else because they were watching bullshit. Since company gets to choose what they want to watch, I should take my ass outside. And these motherfuckers just throwing me around and shit, fucking with me, trying to make me go back in the house. And they were trying to sit out there and play ball and shit. But my little bitty ass went gone. So, one of my older cousins, he come up. He one of my favorites. I'm gonna call this nigga M. M is the main reason I got this is the whole reason I did what I did at the end of this video. When I say revenge. So he kept fucking with me trying to make me go in the house, but I didn't want to. So I ended up throwing a temper tantrum and punching him in his nuts. I knew at the bottom of my heart and the back of my head, I fucked up. He ain't being mad. I knew I fucked up. I tried to haul ass. Other niggas like, oh no, 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 no. Mm -mm, bring your little ass here. So they catch me. I ain't get far anyway. I can't even get to the front door. Them motherfuckers snatch me up soon as I try to cut between the boots. Bring your little ass here. They drove me back there where he was. This nigga is mad with tears in his eyes. Man, really, I want to beat the shit out of him. But he didn't. Mm -mm. He gave me the most disrespectful widget of a lifetime. Now, over my year, I have got a lot of widgets going on. But that was one of the most disrespectful ones I ever got. This nigga here hung me on a goddamn tree. Not no ordinary tree. No, no. This tree in front of the house, in front of the goddamn door, the glass door. That door ain't there no more. We got the house remodeled. My grandma did that. So my great grandma was alive. We used to get a door right there. And she used to sit right there in her little chair in the living room. Since they were partying, they were goddamn sitting in the kitchen. But, yeah, there was a, um, a team effort to get me on this tree. Because it was a part of the tree they cut off. Like a little branch. It was still part of the branch sticking up there. But, they decided to hang me up there. Mind it, these niggas went and got chairs and some more shit. It was a team effort. All six of them bastards. Fuck them. And him was the ringleader. He's the one who got done drugged me up there. Well, mind it, I did punch him in his nuts. But, she just let me play. Damn, I want to hang with y'all. It's my house, damn. But, after sitting up there two, three minutes, and crying a lot, and getting slapped on and shit, my mama seen the shit through the window. And boy, when she came out that glass door, but she beat these shit up, and she whooped all they ass. Now, 
mind it. They folk come out there cussing them out. But she it wasn't no need to whoop them. She already did it. So why they in the house getting lectured to? All of them left their drinks outside. Hurting bad. And pissed. So, had a backyard at now. We didn't have no glass and double doors. We had a window right there. Since my great grandma had an air conditioning unit and a curtain over it, you really couldn't see out here. And the back door is solid white, so that big closed, it closed. So, yeah. Y'all drinks outside and me made it. I pissed in all they drinks. Yeah, I did. I pissed in every last one of them motherfucking drinks. If y'all are seeing this video, yes, I did it. If you wonder why y'all motherfucker made them ugly laugh faces and I was sitting over there laughing, I killed myself laughing. That was the best feeling ever. Damn, y'all getting y'all ass whooped. I got my own taste of revenge for the first time. That's a hell of a drug, y'all. I'm not gonna lie. Now, mind it, I am a good person. But don't push me to the screen, because I can't get down to get down. But for any of y'all who sat here and listened to me tell this story of me, Pissing in my cousin drinks. All because they hung me on the tree. Y'all are some evil motherfuckers. You evil have you clicked on it talking about revenge story. Now I know you fucked up. But that's the end of my story. I will be back with Saturday Anime Day. I'm debating on doing, I think, Spriggin'. Or the executioner in her way of life. One of the two. They're going to be Sarah and Mother Day. Maybe something different. The world may never know till it come out. But enjoy your day, pickles. I check up the back end. I'm ready to back out. If it ain't money, I ain't worried about the rest. I need respect. I never back down. Bitch, I'm the man, you know I'm different from the rest. I know that they're fake, cause I'm looking like a threat now. We only worry about the next.